Welcome back to The Bridge Effect. I hope you enjoyed your Thanksgiving holiday. It's December and you already know what December means. Christmas on the continent. December in Liberia, December in Ghana, December in Nigeria. I mean, there's 54 countries that we could literally list out December in. So as we enter December, I thought that it would be really beneficial to do a video about my five top travel tips uh, to the continent. Everybody knows December is the month of the year where the diaspora returns home. Of course, my content is mainly Liberia focused. However, these travel tips can be applied generally for wherever you go. Tip number one. My first tip is to get a TSA approved lock or a TSA code suitcase. Now, when I say the TSA approved lock, a lot of times when you travel to the continent, you will put a lock on your suitcase to prevent that from getting broken off by TSA when they want to enter into your bag. It's best to get a TSA approved lock because they have a master key. Once they can get into your lock, they'll be able to check out what they need to check out in your suitcase, leave you a little note that they went in there and put your lock back on your bag. So your bag is not traveling across the world, just all unlocked. Cause you know, well, sometimes so what I did was I invested in a suitcase that has a TSA code on it. It has a three number code. And so I just put that in there. It has the symbol. So TSA is able to use their master key to enter into my suitcase. Should they have to check anything in there? Have you ever been in line and seen the person that has to step to the side, open their suitcase and start removing things and shifting things around? Yeah, don't be that person. Do not be that person. Get yourself a scale. This is my travel tip number two. Get a scale. This is a lifesaver. Okay, I got this off of Amazon. It actually weighs both in kg and in pound. What you do, hook it around your suitcase, lift it up, get the number of how much your suitcase weighs. So when you get to the airport, you have a good idea of where you're going to be. Most of the time, you won't have to be that, you know, person that has to pull over to the side and re readjust their luggage. Don't be that guy this Christmas season. Invest in a scale. <laughs> Tip number three. Before you travel, I would check to see if your phone can be unlocked. You want to make sure that your cell phone is unlocked. Uh, sometimes if you don't do it before you leave the country, then you will not be able to unlock your phone and you don't want to do anything to mess up your system. This way you're able to put in a SIM card once you get on ground into your phone and have a local number. If your phone cannot be unlocked, I would suggest taking an unlocked cell phone with you. A lot of people choose to use their carrier's option, which would be like a $10 a day or $75 a day. I'm not sure, depending on who your provider is, uh, but that is also an option so that you would be paying per day to use your own cell phone. In Liberia, we use scratch cards. Uh, there are some plans offered, but if you're not gonna be there for that long, scratch cards are the way to go. What you'll do, get a SIM card, insert the SIM card into your phone and top up. One thing that a lot of people don't know is that if you already have a SIM card that is registered in your name in Liberia, you can apply credit to your SIM card before your trip so that by the time that you land, you'll have credit on your phone. I usually go on MoneyGram to top up my SIM card before I travel. And so that way I have money already on my card before I do it. And I do it a couple of days before, but I have money on my card to have to put both data and minutes on my phone. Tip number four, invest in a power bank. I choose to use a power bank versus charging my phone directly through the outlets in Liberia, just because I don't want to burn out my battery. Uh, the voltage is pretty much the same with a 110 to 220 voltage. Uh, however, to me, I still don't trust it because these cell phones that they're making these days, they're super fragile and they'll conk out on this in, in, in the New York minute. So I just decided to charge my power bank at night and then use my power bank during the day to charge my phone. And honestly, you're going to a place where current is, you know, we, we, we joke about it, but you know, sometimes current cuts and you wanna be able to have a, another source. So I always have this charged up versus charging my own device separately. You'll thank me later. 
Travel tip number five. My fifth and final travel tip. Are you listening? Come here. Come here. You listening? Bring cash. Bring cash. Now, if you've been following what's going on in Liberia as far as the economy is concerned, you know that sometimes the ATM just, you know, it's not gonna be able to give you any money. You know that the banks are only able to allow you to withdraw so much. So in order to avoid that problem, avoid having your friend and pass up and down looking for an ATM for you, just bring cash. Just bring cash, you know, bring, bring the cash. And when you get there, the Liberty will not be looking like this, but I'm gonna need you to bring cash, bring cash, okay? It will save you a world of trouble to have cash on hand. In the event that you go to somewhere like Royal Grand, Royal Grand has like three different types of swipe machines. So one time I was at Royal, uh, trying to figure out if I could use my card. We went through each of the machines to see which one would accept my card and we swiped it for like a penny. You do have the option to use your card at certain places, but my strong suggestion this Christmas season in December in Liberia is that you carry cash with you. Please. So that's it. Those are my top five travel tips for Christmas on the continent, December in Liberia. I hope that these tips were beneficial for you and I hope that they will help you as you uh, prepare for your travels to Liberia. Again, I hope that you have a safe trip. I hope that you enjoy your time home. For those of you that are going home for the first time in a long time, for those of you who are going home for the first time in your life, for those of you who are returning December Reeves, I see y'all. I'm wishing you journeys, mercies, and compliments of the season. Thank you. Make sure to comment, like, subscribe. Let me know down below if you have any other questions um, about your travels to Liberia or to the continent in general, and I'll see if I can answer them for you. So until next time, thank you for watching The Bridge Effect, and we will see you later. Bye!